This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, hey, everybody. It's Alex Bennett, and I'm, uh, I'm here. I can't say that I'm 100%, but I'm here after a couple of days off. And uh, we'll do as much of this show tonight as we can until we can't do it no more. Anyway, we'll give it a good try. In the meantime, uh, we're going to start off the show with an old friend, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to have the likeliness. The likeliness? The likeness. The likeliness. <laughs> God, I'm losing all sense of the English Get language. Get this man a thesaurus, and I don't mean a dinosaur. Yeah, this guy's Stephen Pearl. He isn't sure. He does. He, you okay, Grandpa? Somebody get him a thinking pill. The, the, the guy that won't shut the fuck up. Yeah, I like you him. Don't shut like the him. fuck up, Jesus. We always wind up talking about music. We were talking uh, about a week ago with uh, about you know old performers. You know people people like old Chuck. Time. Well, old Chuck Berry. It's not he's not old to me. He just died, right? He's, and there's a new album coming out, by the way. That he oh, did. okay. I don't yeah. think you're gonna hear it, but uh, I'm looking forward to. It. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he he did, uh, let's see here, he did, uh, and then we talked about, who else? We, we talked about Robert Johnson, and we talked about uh, you know, all the people that were very influential. Who was the most influential mu- musician to you? You you liked uh, Johnny Winter, didn't you? And, 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 I yeah. like the most handicapped blues singer, blind, lonesome, deaf, crippled, curvy, spine, club foot, no facial features, leprosy ridden. Washington Lincoln Jefferson Jones Mandelbaum Jr. Oh, he was a he was big on my life, and there was old Nyquil swilling wife beating uh, Jefferson. He was good. Oh, I just I love lots of music. I love Johnny Winter. Just like it, man. He just whoa, that guy can play blues like nobody. Muddy Waters called him his son. Jimi Hendrix loved him. You just just watch some of the live stuff on YouTube, and you'll see what I mean. That's can I can I admit with Muddy Waters? Can I admit something that will uh, will probably uh, uh, ruin you in my eyes? I was never an Edgar Winter fan, or or Johnny oh, Winter fan. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know what you've been listening to, but there you go. Too yeah, bad. Yeah, and it, was, it. And it wasn't just because you knew these guys, because you actually sought them out once you became a fan, right? Oh, well, we, we met. <laughs> you know, somehow we met, so that was nice, and we became friends. But were you so, a fan prior friend. to meeting Johnny Winter? Oh, sure, big time. I saw him at the Fillmore East with the original Almond Brothers in 71. Yeah. I didn't meet him until 85, but uh, I, I was a fan since I saw him in 71. He was incredible. Eric Clapton, I'm sorry, but uh, get off that number one guitar pedestal. you got a young albino guy who wants to take your place. Well, you know, he, he, just, he, he is an thing. He, yeah, he has he hasn't had another hit since his kid fell out a window. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it was free fall. That was a good song, but I got to tell you. <laughs> oh, man. He that, w- kid, that kid could have been in and out of rehab and divorced seven times by today if he lived. Well, I'll tell you, well, years ago when I was working here in New York, I had on a Atlantic Records, who I had a pretty good association with, said, we've got a new act we want you to put on, if you could, to interview. And I said, who's that? And he said, and they'll bring along some instruments and sing for you, too. And I said, oh, that's terrific. Who are they? He said, Delaney and Bonnie. Now, a lot of people don't remember, oh. a lot of people don't remember Delaney and Bonnie, but uh, uh-huh. uh, they, were, they were pretty good for their time. I mean... They're very good. Well, they, oh, my God, some of the best, like Dwayne Allman played with them. Jimi Hendrix played with them. Johnny Winter played. Jesus, man. Yeah, and they, they did. Good they, resume. And, and they did. A, they did a song called "Superstar," which became a big hit for the mm-hmm. Carpenters later on. Uh-huh. Um, and 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 they carried with them a lot of the cognizanti of music at the time. They became kind of a, it was kind of the Bonnie and Delaney show, and then it was whoever wanted to come in and jam exactly. with them. Exactly, so yeah. You, 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 Jesus, they were clapping toward them for yeah. a while, whoever, you know, yeah. Everybody loved them. And Bonnie Bramlett had a great little voice, you know. And mm-hmm. uh, sure. I, I don't know whatever happened to them. Did he die or did they both die? He died. You won't see him. Did they, no, I think she's still around, but he uh, he's, in the, he's in the bone garden now. You won't see yeah. him no more. But they brought along with them a little musician, a guitarist, uh, who was playing with them at the time named Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. And sure. I have a recording. Just, just be I, in the background. I have a recording of Eric Clapton on my show playing. Uh, well, they did, they did about three numbers, and he did about three solos. 
And mm-hmm. every time he broke out into a solo, and this is just a kid at the time, right? All yeah. I could think of, this guy is incredible. He is really? just incredible. Because he had he was so nimble with it with his fingers, you know, that I I was just I was just completely uh, just amazed by him. Uh, That's why I'm surprised you wouldn't be a Johnny Winter fan because I believe Johnny could surpass him on guitar and play oh. real, real blues. Well, you know, so, I, I uh, really should go back, find some Edgar Winter, or, or John, Johnny really was the one to listen to. And Johnny, then, Johnny's the blues, the AC guitar player. And Edgar Johnny died, player. and Edgar became kind of the... the, the, the oh, the, I'll play you some Edgar shit. I'll, play, I'll, send a, I'll send you a clip of him with Leon Russell playing, uh, what is it, Harlem Nocturne and Autumn Leaves on the back, <laughs> and it's in fucking incredible you will change your mind i'll send you some stuff that you will uh, if you don't become a fan then you ain't got no ears uh, i'm uh, you know i probably will be amazed by him uh, you know it's just I was, i'll I was, send you some I, stuff that will okay, amaze you. Let, let's put it this way i hate albinos okay so uh, well you don't like white people motherfucker <laughs> but anyway just because they're white isn't it because they're white people you don't like straight head people do you now show you with thin stu- lips and no asses you don't like those people how stupid I am about this is... Uh, <laughs> Albino's rule, man. How stupid I am about all this is, my question would be, how'd he die? Johnny? Yeah. He wore out, man. He was 70, and the guy lived like 50 miles over the edge his whole life. It, it, Johnny was that old? Yeah. He, he was born in 1944, and he passed away in uh, 2014. Made it to 70. Oh, that's, that's, that. No, that's Edgar. I'm talking about Johnny. Yeah, I'm talking about Johnny. Johnny's dead. Edgar's still around. Johnny Edgar's was alive younger, till right? 2004. See, that's how much I didn't know what? about them. You don't know anything. Let me let me let me send you some stuff. I'll I'll, I'll send you some of our literature from our headquarters. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll be quite enlightened. Thank you, and uh, send me the Scientology stuff along with it. I'll send you that too. <laughs> I have charts and graphs proving that Merv Griffin was in collusion with Wally Cox to kill President Kennedy. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy yeah, those. Yeah, too. I think I'll enjoy those. From our yeah. paranoid alt right. There is not out. one person listening to us right now, perhaps, who even knows who Wally Cox was. Mm, that's why I said it. We're seeking out that one person. Wally if Cox. If you know who Wally Cox is, call us at Loberman 3270. Ask for Mix, Miss Buxom, the extension 460. I'll give you a fact. This is uh, Wally Cox, to begin with, for those people who don't know who Wally Cox was, did a show on television called Mr. Peepers, Mr. In, which Peepers. He, in which he would play the teacher. And he was a very, yeah. his character was a very wimpy character. Okay. Yeah, he played a very meek guy. So who was he, he fucking? Like who was he fucking? Because he was gay. Who was what he was fucking? It? Who was he fucking? He was gay. Was he? I know he was friends with Brando, and mm-hmm. he, was, he was a badass. He, That's he it. He could do handstands, That's and it. he rode a bike. That they they think that they were lovers. Oh no! He would no. Don't tell me, Marlon and him. Marlon, no! Marlon, this beat. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, hey, Wally, I want you to go down on me now. Uh, Keep slipping, Wally. Uh, the underdog boy. I'm sure I made a lot of gay people very happy by outing uh, Marlon Brando. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea. But there is no more gay icon than Marlon Brando in Streetcar Named Desire. Uh, look at my nipples. I mean, I mean, standing there, he is the epitome of every gay guy's dream, <laughs> right? And and you know, I, and I think he was not gay particularly. I think he was bisexual. I think he fuck anything yeah, that came he along. Tried everything. But he went. I heard he went with uh, with him for uh, uh, how many years? Uh, uh, about two or three years, I think they were. At no Holy crap! Ca- nice. ca- ca- oh. Jumping potatoes. This is like uh, Jesus, like hearing about Frank Sutton and Derwood Kirby. Oh, you want you want to hear you want to hear about an interesting one? Remember the woman who played uh, uh, played played. played, I'm getting weird visual. I'm I'm trying to remember her name now. Who played Jerry's mother on Seinfeld? No, oh, uh, Liz Dizzy Sheridan. I, yeah. I know what you're going to say, but say it yeah. anyway. Yeah, she lived with James Dean. That's right, and there's old pictures of the two of them together in the village in his New York days. And at he some was, point, uh, you know, young, you yeah. know, he, he, he will. I, Dean may have been gay too. Isn't everybody gay who makes everybody's it? gay in today's world? Why it's a prerequisite? 
You're not gay. You're not in. He was gay, and uh, but but she she lived with him, and they were boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. Yeah, that's yeah. True. And you think about it, Jerry's true. mother, Liz Sheridan. That woman was she must yeah, have that's, that's she must have looked you okay. Write a book just about that. It's amazing. Hey, listen, there are women who look gorgeous back then. You see them today, and they're trolls. You know. <laughs> Well, when you hit your 70s, you know, you're not going to be at your best unless you're Cesar Romero, but that's another story. Yeah, well, Cesar Romero was gay. Yes, that he's a fine-looking man. And they, 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 Hispanic man. Remember how they always used to refer to him, though, as uh, America's escort? He would escort, <laughs> you know, like, he he, he was, oh. you know, he they would... Uh, uh, he would go out with the Zsa, Zsa Gabor, for instance, and he'd be accompanying yeah. her to a movie. But what what was what was Cesar Romero's talent? I think we remember him as the Joker, and that's about it. The Joker, yeah. I mean, he played that uh, uh, Frank Sinatra was going to be a uh, new stepfather in uh, in Ocean's Eleven. And he stayed in movies for years because he sucked a lot of dick. <laughs> okay, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold oh, on okay. a second, folks. Wait a minute, there are people out there going, "Who the fuck is Cesar Romero?" <laughs> well, he was he was the Riddler. Uh, he was the he Joker, was the Joker, right? the Joker on Batman, and, Batman. and uh, that's, that might be it. A couple of forties movies or something. Hello, I'm Cesar Romero. I'm younger well, now, I mean, and I'm quite he, good looking. He was there, and oh, he was in the movies. He, he introduced had, me to the best boy, the key grip. I like to meet him. No, but he had a good career. You know, I had a great career. He worked a lot, working more than me. The lucky son of a bitch. Yeah, maybe you should go gay. Yeah, that's that's the next step. Sure, I got no problem with that. Yeah. Oh, it's just not me. I'm just a retired heterosexual. I, you know, there are a lot of gay comics, but nobody knows who they are. I always used to get a big, uh, a big. Uh, I know who they are. Well, I'm I, selling I, a list on eBay. Yeah, no, <laughs> Twelve dollars. I'll tell you well, who they are. I, I used to get uh, a lot of heat in San Francisco, if you may remember, for not having mm -hmm. enough gay comics, and I kept saying. I would ha I do have gay comics on the show. They just don't want to say they are, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm not about ready to out them, so I'll look good like I've got gay comics on my show. Yeah, you know. Exactly. I remember uh, the winner of the San Francisco comedy competition, Jim Samuels, was gay, but sure. we ne we never said it on the air. He never talked no. about it, and it's his choice to decide whether he wants to be outed or not. Exactly. Everybody knew it, but you know what? He talked about it. You know, I had Ellen. De I, I, I believe I had Ellen DeGeneres on my show, or I hired her for one of my comedy shows down at the Frost Amphitheater. And you know, she, she was gay, although I don't know if she knew it at the time. But she was. Oh, I knew it. She was gay, and uh, but yeah. I, I wasn't about ready to out these people for my benefit. So finally, yeah. I had to start uh -huh. booking overtly gay comics who said, "I'm gay." Hi, here. Ba da 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 yeah. da 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 da. And like Sabrina Matthews and uh, who's the other guy? Tom Amiano. Uh, yeah. Well, Tom Amiano, I think, always said he was gay. Uh, Tom, yeah, he never hit it. Yeah, he, and he wound up being the he wound up being a supervisor like in San Francisco. Supervisor, he's got power. You better be nice well, to him. I, 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 he, was, yeah. he was not very good at politics, and I felt that we should have laughed at him more so he'd never go into politics. But anyway, he couldn't fix my parking ticket. My heart, she broke. My eyes, they filled up. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and Jim Samuels and uh, Sabrina Matthews, and uh, there were a whole bunch of them, and I. Um, and some of them later on became very outwardly gay, and I felt compelled to have them on because, uh -huh. uh, you know, maybe giving a break a little earlier than they should have gotten it because I didn't want people to say I didn't have gay comedians on in San Francisco. But, and they, they you know, these were Jim Samuels, I don't think, was a very good comic. Uh, uh, I liked him a lot. Oh, really? Okay, I disagree. I, th I thought he was quite effective. Which, I, well, I, I can't think. remember now. There, there, there was one guy. There was one guy I didn't have on a lot, and he used to give me a bad time about it. And I just said, you know, you, you're a very funny comedian. Oh, that was it. it was Jim Samuels? I said to what Jim, it? I said, you know something? You're a very funny comic. I go to see you on stage. You are terrific. You don't know how to work radio. He yeah. didn't. He didn't know how to bring that funny to radio. Oh, really? Wow! Yeah. He won the comedy competition in '82 for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but not on the radio. Couldn't make. Couldn't cut it on the. I loved radio. You could really just cut who, loose. And, now who it was, was the, just fun. Who, you know, just 
doing your show, we could just rip together and it worked somehow. Uh, who was the first comic to win the San Francisco comedy competition? The very first one back in 1976, I believe, might have been Dana Covey. No, Bill Farley. Bill Farley. Bill Farley. Okay, now one. everybody. And some loser named Robin Williams that's, came in second. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> I never heard from him again. That, 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 to me, immediately took the San Francisco comedy competition and made it worthless. You know, completely <laughs> useless. The fact that a guy named Bill Farley, how many people here know Bill Farley? I never saw Bill, Bill Farley, and I was in the middle of comedy. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. By, oh, he was. I think he was in L.A. by the time I got out here. So yeah, uh, and, yeah. and I never saw Bill Farley anywhere. I don't think there's a person listening to us who knows Bill Farley. But if I say Robin Williams, they all know who won. Came in number two. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, so and, don't don't think they don't remember number two, kids. You don't have to try that hard. And, 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 that's, that's the lesson for today. Well, as don't you, try that hard. As, It'll as just you, kill you. As you get older, doing number two is much harder. But anyway. That's another story. Not if you snort Metamucil like I do. Yeah. You got <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I crapped out the rose I had on the birthday cake in 1964 on that stuff. Hooray! You got it on automatic send over at Amazon, right? The month <laughs> right, just Bam, right in and out, baby. They should let me do commercials for Metamucil. I, I swear by that product. Especially at my age. Oh, yeah. Go right through me. It's better than prunes. Yeah. But these are people you don't, you know, I mean, uh, uh, to me, that automatically, and, and of course the comedy competition will go, oh, Robin Williams was in the comedy competition, but they don't mention it, yeah. it was number two to Bill Farley. And I think Dana yeah, Carvey, yeah. <laughs> Dana Carvey maybe won the second one or something like that. Who won? I don't, God, I, the second one was, God, I just remember, I go back, to 79, I remember, was one by Marshall Warfield and the juggler Michael Davis came in second. But okay, I don't know, who are those people? We, we, Marshall Warfield had a minor career. Uh, she was on Night Corps for a while, and she was real, still is, I assume, a real funny comedian. She always cracked me up. Yeah. Uh, and I worked with her a few times, and uh, yeah, we had fun. She liked to smoke pot more than I did. God bless you, Martha. And um, 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 I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I saw... Uh, what's it, the, the juggler and sugar babies with Mickey Rooney in 1981 on Broadway, but yeah. he's doing something. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, what year were you in it? I was in it in 80 and 81 and 82 and 80, <laughs> <laughs> 80. I know. I think I, I, by 80 time, 85 came along. They they let me MC a few nights and I was a judge or something. No, I wasn't a judge. I didn't want to judge it. Yeah, but now, now, now but, but did you ever did you ever make the finals? Oh yeah, five, yeah in eighty five. I was in it in eighty five. After that, I stopped doing it. But in eighty five, they I didn't want to do it at all. By that, I got enough of it. It's just nerve wracking. You want to see your friends bomb and it's bullshit and you're being judged by carpet salesmen, but. They said, if you do it, we guarantee you'll be in the top five. Like, okay, I did. They, like wait, 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 wait. Hold 30. on a second. The fix was in, and they guaranteed you? The you fix, well, the statute of limitations is up. I don't think we'll be going to the Hooskow, if I tell you. But, no, they told me the, the fix was in. And I saw him one night in San Jose. I had a, They hated me. It wasn't a very good set. Yet, I still came in the top five. And I uh, later on, I looked at the score sheet, and I saw there was a little bit of juggling. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. No, no, Shades uh, of Jared Kushner's father. Uh, so yeah, you came in. Of Bernie Madoff. You, you came in number f uh, <laughs> What did you come in when you were in the. Uh, I remember when they. when they. I, I don't remember. What, I know I was in the top maybe three or something, but I remember when they introduced. Uh, and now, uh, after the show's over, here's the top five. Here's Sinbad. Yay! Here's Ellen DeGeneres. Yay! Here's Stephen Pearl. I do clap. Yet I still play some. Now, if I remember correctly, and, uh, Sinbad won that one. No, he won. Yeah, it's 85. He won. And it was the finalists for me, Sinbad, Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Kravitz, and Evan Davis. Those are the finalists. Man. I don't know. I think I was fourth or fifth or something. I don't remember. Wow. Wow. Ellen came in second. I know that. And another one, another second second place loser you never heard of it after that. So yeah. Ellen be generous. Never heard of her. So. Yeah, I, 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 one year they they begged me to be a judge at the finals. <laughs> was, I've told the story before. It was the worst thing I ever had to do in my life. So I brought my friend Shecky from the Letterman show, and he was sitting on one. <laughs> oh, Shecky, yeah, sure. Was, he was sitting on one side of me, and on the other side of me was my girlfriend at the time. Her name was Xanthi. And I said, look, I know these guys. You know, I'm prejudiced towards certain comics because I like them personally. 
and I also like them as comedians. And so I would just when I write down my score, look at what I say. And if you think I'm wrong, let me know. And they never once told me I was wrong, right? Uh-huh. And so at the top of my list was was uh, was Warren Thomas. Uh-huh. And so uh, it's it's uh, how the competition worked in those days, folks. There were like five or eight or I don't know how many judges, and the judges scores counted for half and the other half was an audience score audience yeah right and so the first night we were Uh there um warren came in third and the next night he came in i believe second but it was an averaging between all the scores from both nights and he won the comedy competition all of a sudden, all over town it was, Alex Bennett fixed the comedy competition. <laughs> nah, we knew and and I said, win. I knew I should have never done it because that's exactly uh, no, the reason I didn't want you. to do it is because they will always blame it on me because, you know, of mm. course, if I'm going to vote between, let's see here, there was, I believe there was, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, who who is in that group? Um, quite a few people I liked. But, uh, you know, I uh, the guy who made me laugh the most was Warren Thomas. And, and so I voted. He the conjoined hookers named Tess and Tammy, too, so that didn't hurt. Yeah, and I, I wanted to, <laughs> uh, um, uh, you know, just vote for the person I thought was the funniest. That's all. There That's all go. I did. And yet yeah. I, I fixed the comedy competition. You fixed it, see? Because I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Nothing's who, on nothing. Well, I can't remember who came in second. But uh, they, they were very mad at me because I, I fixed it. I didn't vote for them, you know. Oh, and they, they, were, they were the one everybody thought was going to win and everything. And Warren Thomas won it. And I thought it was Warren one of the Thomas few times won. that the funniest guy did win, you know, although yep. there were some people. Uh, who came in fifth? What's his name? Went to Saturday Night Live. Um, oh, uh, Schneider? Rob Schneider, Schneider, Rob Schneider. Who yeah. I, I like yeah. Rob a lot. <laughs> Rob came in fifth uh, at the comedy competition. He was another all, loser you'd ever heard of. <laughs> eminently more, uh, uh, eminently year. more successful than any of the other people who won yeah. it that year. You know, than sure. the Warren or any of the other people. So, yep. And by the way, there were quite a few people right. that year I liked. So you know, it was yeah. a hard, hard thing. To, but I had these two people sitting inside of me, just absolutely keeping an eye on me to make sure that I was being honest, you know? God, and you, and you know, so I, the, the next Jeez. year they said, you want to be a judge again? I said, fuck you. You know, fuck you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm doing a radio show every morning where I got to have these guys on the air with me, yeah. you know, and, and come Monday, oh, they're, they're looking daggers at me. You know, I wanted, why did you make me number one? Oh. Well, I, no, I couldn't make anybody number one. Half of it was the audience. There were eight other judges. You know, the best I could do was just vote my conscience. So, yeah. yeah. You did what you had to do. Fuck them. Well, you know something? Comedy is not a, it, the only competition that counts. Is the competition that goes on on stage with your career and how it's going yep. and who you're, yep. who you're up against. Yep. You know, yep. and, and I can't say. I can't I, anyone but me. I always considered the comedy competition to be stupid. Does it still go oh. on? Is it they still doing it? Uh, I believe they are, but nobody cares anymore. <laughs> yeah. It might make like a paragraph on the back page of the penny saver if anyone writes about it. So yeah. it still exists. It's barely by a thread. Thank God, it's an evil beast. Oh, uh, and, and one time I had to vote at one, at one of them, one of the prelims, and it was Frank Olivier, and he was a juggler. You remember oh, Frank Olivier, the juggler? The juggler, and yeah, he was on a him. unicycle and stuff like that. And I gave him a zero. And, some, <laughs> and somebody said, why did you give him a zero? I said, he wasn't doing comedy. He was juggling. Mm-hmm. Yep, this ain't a circus competition, son. Exactly. And Ringling mm-hmm. Brothers is closing down, so get yeah, lost. Let's go to the big top or the unemployment line with Sparkles, the elephant. Whatever happened to Olivier? Never know. I mm-hmm. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Maybe on Fisherman's Wharf. I don't know. Yep. I have no idea. Hey, well, I wish him well. You know, it's always it's always a pleasure to talk to the very famous Stephen Pearl. Thank you, uh, thank you. A legend in my own room. And uh, beautiful uh, thing. This is playing about a week from now. So, uh, tell me, where are you playing? Where am I playing? Well, let's see. A week from now, uh, June twentieth, I would be at the Punchline 
with uh, some old friends from the old days. It'll be like the 80s with arthritis. So come on down to the Punchline okay. in San Francisco, June 20th on 444 Battery Street. Yeah, and uh, always great to talk to you. We'll do an, an, another another week or so, okay? I'll be here. I ain't got no life. Where am I going? Ladies and gentlemen, the only man I can talk to about music, <laughs> Stephen Pearl. I'm, gonna, I'm sending you some Johnny and Edgar. Check it out. You'll like it. I'll listen. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, wait a minute, I got to get uh, my picture up here. There we go. Oh boy, this is. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm having. <clears throat> See, all kinds of problems today. Anyway, hi everybody. Alex Bennett. I'm here. That's it. That's all I can say. I mean, I'm. I'm here. Uh, everything I'm doing tonight, I'm doing wrong. So uh, there's uh, no reason why I shouldn't feel that uh, this show isn't even worth doing tonight. But I'm going to do it anyway, or at least for as long as I can. Uh, I have been ill, as you know, quite ill, amazingly, <clears throat> amazingly ill, and... Uh, I am uh, trying to do a show tonight. So I start off trying to do a show tonight, and what happens? I don't turn on the audio stream, okay? So now when the show's over, if I want to post that show, I'm going to have to take the audio from the video, which will take forever to do. And really what I'd like to do is nothing more once this show is over with tonight than to go to bed, okay? Um but I need you to call, and uh, I uh, thanks to Jack last night for taking over and doing the show for me. Uh, and uh, uh, I almost didn't do a show tonight. I mean, I, this morning I woke up, I said, oh, I can do a show tonight. I felt really good. And then as the day went on, I got to feeling worse and worse and worse and worse. And then I went, oh, God, now I'm loopy again, right? So, I mean, I can't forget, I remember to do little things like turn on the audio, right? So that when we play back this on the uh, on the stream and so on on the playlist, it'll start in the middle of Stephen Pearl's uh, interview, which incidentally somebody wrote, "This is boring. I'm I'll come back later." Fuck you! Don't come back later. We don't want anything to do with you. Okay, just go fuck yourself. All right, and don't come back because Stephen Pearl's my friend, and you're not gonna make a big deal out of that. Anyway. <clears throat> So if I sound gargly, it's because I'm gargly uh, and uh, 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 all kinds of little problems that we're trying to deal with here uh, and, and uh, not have to uh, uh, deal with uh, uh, thing. We have all kinds of like uh, oh, problems with, uh, oh, well, here's the SG. Oh, well, he hung up before I could even, uh, I could even put him, put him on. Well... What did you do that for, SG? Fuck you. Oh, here, here we go. Here's Phil Meyer. And, uh, yeah, there's Phil. We, we, hi, hi. I'm the uh, sacrificial first caller. You're the sacrificial first caller? Yeah, right. well, you know, uh, we, uh, that problem could be probably solved. Well, hold on a second. Who's SG? Now, who's SG? That's what oh, I Oh, SG's the guy to call the other day. He's conservative. Oh, wait a minute. A SG, call me back one more time, will you, please? Call, yep. call me back back one more time, okay? Uh, I I just I screwed up. No, here. Zoom this call. Hello, Phil. Okay, now I'll add him to the group. Okay. And, okay. And, I'll turn my video back on if I look, can. You look like you're okay, though, Phil. You, no, you turn. Oh. Hello, hello, SG. Yes. Hello. Hello, SG. Uh, how are you? Oh, there he is. He's a, hey, the patient. I got to call you back. I don't. Uh, I don't have a. Oh God. Thing. That's Hi. okay. It's it's no, the well, official gonna, first uh, well, caller. No, I'm going to. Well, I'll explain it later tonight. And we just lost SG. Oh, then I'll wait because uh, yeah. if, if I don't, then he'll be the first caller and he'll have a problem. I have no idea what the problem is here. Yeah. You know, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> this is it's there hey, he is. Hello, SG. You there again? Yes, sir. Yeah, and do you have, can you see your camera, Phil? No. Okay. Well, so I'll call you right back. Call me right back. Stay put, S.G. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, uh, okay. 
But Phil's not hanging up, so. Oh, there he goes. Okay. And now he will call back so we can get his picture. This is, I hate Skype. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll explain a, a real problem with Skype in a bit here. And hold on, I gotta, I gotta do some adjusting of picture uh, for the panel. There we go, wait a minute. Um, uh, uh, here we go, we d go all the way over there. And then I've gotta, I've gotta do this and bring this into, yes, add to group. Yes, okay. Phil, but I've got to do something here that's a, okay. that's a pain in the ass that I, yeah. I I just don't understand why I've got the problem. I probably have to toggle, too. No, I, th this is a picture problem here oh. that no, I've got. For you, I see SG and myself. Yeah, but I'm, I'm having to, uh, this will be a b little bit of a minute, folks, so just hang on. Uh, we're 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 about we're almost there with our solving our problem here. Hold on. All right. Uh, I've got to. Uh, I've got to. Okay. See. Now now I'll I'll uh, do a little transition here, and then we got both of you. Okay. All right. All right. Can well, you wait. see me? What? You see my camera? Do I see your camera? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I got to talk. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Let me see here. Oh, it'll happen. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I think we got everything going here. All right. Hopefully. Hey, I was not with any Russian hookers. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I just, I'm so fed up with uh, Skype that uh, uh, Skype has sent a letter to me the other day. Yeah, you use too much Skype? No. <laughs> I'm not using the current version, and as of July 1st, we can only use the current version. Ah. And what that means is... Creating a citizen, back. what? You'll have to call us back. Well, I don't want to do that. I, right. I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to, as of July 1st, end GabNet once and for all, putting mm -hmm. it to sleep. Now, uh, does um, uh, does Jack have to call people back? No, Jack is using the old version of Skype right now. Ah. Uh, but Jack, yeah. Jack is totally incapable of doing I mean, I could do it, okay? I, I could do it and do it pretty seamlessly, all yeah. right? But I don't want to. What, what I, don't, about, I, don't uh, like the way, I don't like the way Skype deals with the public. I don't like the fact that you can't get a hold of them. There is no way to get in touch with Skype, okay? Period. No yeah. way. That's no way to deal with the public. And I've relied on Skype, and if we have any moments on this program where things slow up and get go into the dragged into the dirt and, and slow up completely, it's yeah. because of Skype. So I've decided that rather than go to this new version of Skype, I'm just going to uh, put put the gas pipe to Gabnet, and that's it. Well, you should try see if the new version of Skype. No, I don't want to try. I've, I've tried that version. I don't want to do it because I'm being forced to do it. Yeah. And and quite frankly, you know, when I hear that Jack, Jack will never get used to it. Jack will never master it. Okay? Yeah. He's, he did all right uh, last time. Uh, huh? No, he but, did all right. No, no, that had nothing to do with it, though, Phil. I'm, don't, aren't you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, he's running the old version. Yeah. If he uh, has to go to the new version, he will never get the concept of how to do this. Yeah. You know, we've tried to teach him before. And he's let Amy do it. Huh? Let Amy do I it. I mean, he was bemused last night by the fact that he had to go on after the playlist. He said, but I'm already on on the playlist. How can I go on now? You just go on, kill the, <laughs> kill the encoder and go to the show. And then I tune in at one minute past 10, and there's no show. And he says, I call him. He says, oh, it's 10 o'clock already? Oh, boy. You know, I, I'm just, I, I, can't, I can't put up with this. Well, anymore. it was nine where he was, right? So it's time to put an end to GabNet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's you, know, you know, maybe you need a vacation or a hiatus. No, I think I need to put an end to GabNet. All right. You know. Um, I'm tired of it, and uh, it's, you know. Um, yeah. What do you think, Rob? I'm not going to reassemble my studio. <laughs> if, if you put the effort into getting a job that you put into GabNet, you, you'll be hired in two seconds. No, I won't. No, I won't. No. Well, yeah, I mean, you put a lot of effort into this, and uh, if, if you just gave it the same amount of time every day, 
you'd find something. No, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of dealing with, with forces I don't have any control over. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, that come between me and what I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. And uh, I wish there were a substitute for uh, for um, uh, for uh, using uh, uh, Skype, but there isn't really. You yeah, know, well, there are. There why don't you are, just do a half hour without the panel? I don't I know if I even want to do that. I, yeah. You know, I'm I'm just I'm burnt. I'm just burnt out. Yeah. Maybe I'm saying that now because I'm still sick. You know, but. Uh, I just it, when I got this letter and then I had to start trying to explain things to people, it just you know it drove me nuts. And then tonight, uh, um, uh, Damien, who who does know his stuff, okay, yeah. uh, goes on and he's having trouble with Skype because somehow it's installed the new version of Skype on his machine, mm. and he doesn't yet know how to do that whole trick and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, if it's going to be like this constantly, with having to do, you know, the first half hour of your show is dealing with Skype issues, then I don't want it anymore. I just want to do a fucking show. Can you do them all through the phone number? Huh? Just do them all through the phone number. You don't have to look at our ugly faces. Uh, uh, no, no. Hello, yeah. Mike Man. Who's Mike Man? Uh, hey, Alex. I, yes, who's this? You may remember Mike. I'm I'm Mike. Photo Mike from your show. Remember, I used to take photos for you. No. Uh, what uh, station? Are, are you, you going to talk to me, or are you just going <laughs> to sit there quietly? And... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. Yeah. Did you, you hear what I said earlier? That I used to be your photographer. <laughs> I, I was your photographer. I, where? Oh, I think I got the delay on that. Let me mute this. There we go. I had to mute my uh, Facebook. Oh, yeah, that would help. <laughs> yeah. Where did you take pictures of me? Oh, at KITS. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't remember. I, I don't remember you. I have a lot of pictures. I, I did all of your breakfast with Bennett. I was. Really young, I was college age. You bought Were you sanctioned? Me? Were I, you sh sanctioned by the station or? Uh, no, Alex hired me. It wasn't with the I station. I never hired. I never hired a photographer. Yeah, well, I have photos to show it. Prove it. I, well, I'm you may have photos. That Alex but... ever paid for anything? <laughs> yeah. It was cheap. I was in college. Yeah. I did. I did a lot of breakfast with Bennett. I did. Uh, uh, I, I used to work for the Noe Valley Voice. Uh, Your ex-wife uh, was my teacher in uh, Sunday school. Really? <laughs> really. In Marin. Uh, she didn't teach Sunday school in Marin. She did. No, she didn't. I'm trying to think. I don't remember what her name was. It was so long ago. Susan, it was at the JCC. Oh, yeah, right. Now you told him what the name was, and and now I can't verify that he's real. Well, he Kinder, knows. Kinder Schule was the name of the she, of the. She uh, never taught Sunday. it. She never taught at a shul. I'm sorry. It wasn't. It wasn't the real. Uh, it wasn't a uh, temple thing. It was the JCC. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, what the hell? Well, so, uh, uh, can you post I, I any of those pictures it. on your uh, on your Skype thing? Can I don't. You, uh, no, let's do, Phil, let me run the fucking show. All right, all right. I have to scan them in, but I could I could go get some. I I have pictures of uh, Lori on a toilet. Good. <laughs> None of this rings a bell. None of this rings a it bell. Wild. It was a while ago. Come on, Alex. I never hired anybody to be my photographer. No, it, it wasn't like you hired people for the hour. I sold you photographs. I never bought photographs. Oh bullshit! I have, I have, I probably have a. <laughs> I know all the photographs <laughs> that I, you, I have. I, check the photos, I know I'll... all the photographs that I have, and none of them did I ever buy from anybody. I remember I sent you invoices, and your man, your manager uh, paid him. 
your audience a bunch of times. It's a while ago, Alex. I don't expect you to remember. I just let you know. I I, 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 my photo. I, I think I would remember paying somebody to take pictures of me. Yeah, I wish I had proof of checks that you give me. But well, I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want to waste the first half hour of this program with this. I'd rather waste it on talking about Skype I'll, problems. I'll find some photos and send them to you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for calling. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, do I need that, guys? Let me see here. Uh, uh huh? Remove person from group. Well, you know, I, I, I used to take pictures of you. I, 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 I think I'd remember somebody I hired to take pictures of me, wouldn't I? You don't remember me. You don't remember so. <laughs> and I, and I helped you produce your show. I forget him, but, uh, you know, well, I remember you now because you call every night. You won't go away. So. <laughs> <Yeah. Just shock. laughs> I promised. We lost SK. I don't know why. I guess. SG? You know, GSG or whatever his name was. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. No, I, I, so I'm tired of, of, of uh, having to deal with this technical thing with, with Skype. And the fact that it's a company that if at least I could somehow get in touch with the company and get answers. But there is no way, I defy any of you to find a way to talk to, for instance, they have a thing. This is interesting. Can You'll we just you Skype them? Will you let me finish telling <laughs> oh, the story? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Skype, uh, you go to them and they say, if you have a problem, just go to our problem page here. And you go to the problem page and it says, and it says, and if you have a problem, if you have a problem, uh, and it isn't listed there, just push on next, and then it will let you either go to our community bulletin board or our text support, uh, is, uh, you know, uh, te uh, te tech support on te for te with text, all right? And yeah. you go there, and all it does is allow you to go to community support. It doesn't allow you to talk to somebody on a text. So why do they even offer that when you go there and it isn't there? That's no, Skype I, for you. That's big customer. You got to pay them. You got to pay. If you want to keep running with this free stuff, this is your frustration. I pay them. Can't pay them. I pay them. <laughs> Wait, is Rob, didn't you say that there was a, a, there's, a there's a paid There's a paid Skype, but that would mean everybody who calls GabNet would need the paid Skype. You can't oh, so call... You can't use. Uh, they don't. They're different. They you, they are not the same yeah. network. You can't use uh, free Skype, so, the paid Skype. And I hear that. I, I hear Does that. it come with your uh, uh, suite? Yes. Or your come. Microsoft suite? Yeah, I I, I get it with my Microsoft suite. I never so. use it because there's no one else I know on it. Okay. So, it just sits there. And oh. and the fact is, they probably won't answer your questions either. Yeah, it supports a little better. You have a special portal. It's a little better. I mean, I just, I find it just, and this is all Microsoft, folks, so blame Microsoft. By the way, SG, I don't know what it is, but you got a fan on or something where you are, and it's making noise. And we can't see you. No. Uh, no fan. Well, uh, 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 there is some noise coming out of your room. So a hissing sound. I know. But... There's not. Huh. Well, I, I, who knows what it is. Uh, yes, Renee. Cisco used to have uh, what they called Cisco telepresence, and they didn't roll it out in time, and the momentum just flattened, and it became worthless. But it was, a whole, it was kind of the same idea as Skype. They had some problems with whether or not it could be used anywhere as opposed to just with Cisco equipment, but they could have done much better with it, much more with it, and they, they didn't do it. So, you know, Skype is what we ended up with. And I don't know, does anybody see anything new on Horizon, on the Horizon for no. this type of community no. talking? Not really. Give me a Google this. Well, Google has Google Groups. Oh, is any good? No. Google oh. Hangouts. <laughs> Google Hangouts, that's it. Google Hangouts. No. Well, is it because the software is shitty, like Skype, or is audio, it audio? As I when the last time I used it, the audio sucked, and it's it, you know, I'm not going to get this. I wish Facebook had a group situation. Oh, See? I'm sure it's coming. There goes SG, and we get rid of the hiss. 
I, I'm sure Facebook is trying to be as prevalent, uh, as prevalent as they could possibly be for the next five years, and we are going to make the jump to optics. And unless Facebook figures out how to make that jump, they're going to be worth nothing. And they know that. Yeah. So yeah. there's a whole bunch of improvements Facebook's of Facebook has got to go through right. in order to stay Facebook. Right. Well, Facebook is only one way with the video, right? What? If, if Facebook is only one way with the video, uh, you you can broadcast, but you can't. Uh, uh, go two ways. You can't receive stuff. It, it, it's not a dual community thing like this. Uh, uh, no, it's it it. Well, I mean, it, it's uh, all you have is you have you know broadcast video. only. You have uh, what they call live. It's called. Mm -hmm. You know. So. You know. So yeah, I think Facebook will have this at some point in time in the very near future. It's not new technology by any means. Well, Could it be better technology? Sure, but it isn't new. Well, all I'm saying is, is that what Skype is offering is just terrible, and and they should be ashamed of themselves. Well, if uh, <coughs> uh, if we didn't talk about Trump, then you could actually pre-record uh, uh, the show and then put it up and work out all the problems before it's live. Well, you know, I, I I don't care. I just don't want to have to put up with this anymore, and I'm so I'm I'm just I'm I'm folding up t the tent, you know, yeah. and bringing this whole thing to a close uh, because I just don't want to have to deal with it. I'm, and maybe I'm just tired now. Maybe Monday I'll feel better about it. But right now, you know, it's just it it doesn't uh, you know there's just too many problems. Okay. Plus, I'm tired of fucking posting shows every night and doing that shit, you know? Uh, if I could just do a show and that's it, fine. But I got to do all this other Michigas too, because I created this whole raft of people behind me, you know? And, uh, They'll live. Hmm? They'll live. I guess. I guess, you know. Uh, non Jew here. Michigash, Michigan, Michigan, crazy. Michigash, okay, okay, and that is crazy, no? crazy. Oh, yeah. Do you ever say you are Michigash, or is it just Michigan? It's Michigas. Ah. It's Miss Michigas, not Michigash. <laughs> well, well, anybody, that, anybody have anything they want to talk about tonight? Because uh, I'm, you know. Ooh. I'm still pretty much out of it. Uh, did you hear Comey testified? Yes, I know. I watched it. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, yes. what'd you think? Uh, what a bunch of worthless fucks those uh, senators are. Yeah, they you know? sure they are. To begin with, it's amazing how I could tell whether they were Republican or Democrat just by looking at them. <laughs> well, they had opened their mouths. Uh, you know, a few of them... Uh, you know, Mark Warner could have gone on either way. You know, he he could have been. I didn't, I didn't need the long opening remarks by the heads of the committee for their own I fucking agree. ego. Just get get to get to Comey, ask him some significant questions that we're not there to see you, you motherfuckers. And, and f first it's the head of the committee and then it's the deputy head of the committee. And, you know, I don't want, and he they, they both talk for 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, didn't McCain have a senior moment? I hear he had <laughs> lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> they actually had to help him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he may be getting to the point where uh, it's it's time to play golf. He's like, I'm feeling tonight. She she none, of, none, of this, none of the technology. I can't work the technology anymore. The other night, I was so in such bad shape. Uh, Monday, I went through a period where... I got a call from Larry Bubbles Brown, and he said, you were supposed to call me today. And I said, I was. And I completely forgot. And then in talking to him the next day, he said, man, you were weird yesterday. He said, you were talking in circles and uh, not making any sense at all. <clears throat> and Monday, I was in, in a complete coma. I mean, I was trying to do things like post shows and things like that, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do simple manual things and it, i have no idea what it was but i was i was out of it i was completely out of it and mm. the next day i was better 
But uh, man, you, sound, you sounded all right. Uh, was it Tuesday? What do you mean Tuesday? It wasn't on Tuesday. I know. I called you. I talked to you. Oh, on the you phone. called me. Yeah. I mean, I was okay. I wasn't great though. I'm, you know, I'm still not great. Yeah. Uh, right you now, sound better, but you sounded like you had a cold. Right now, I'm feeling lightheaded. I still have. I'm still plugged up. Last night, I had to take a sleeping pill to put me to sleep. You know why? Because oh, I was wheezing so much that it was keeping me awake. Well, what's did, going did, on with the weather there? Is it, is it, uh, the weather's is it, fine. Is it, is it cold or is it uh, like uh, allergies? It, 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 now Mike Mann sends me a photo. Fuck you, Mike Mann. <laughs> you recognize the photo? I, I haven't. I didn't, I didn't go to it. Alex, did it. your doctors change your medication recently? Mike Mann <laughs> shared a photo. Here's the here's the photo, folks. You see this? There's a, there's a photo. Uh, oh, have to look on Facebook. Please don't be Lori on the toilet. That poor thing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking, and uh, I I I don't remember that picture. You know, that could be any one of a million pictures taken of me. And I, let's see if I remember this one. I don't remember that picture either, Mike Man. So quit sending me fucking pictures, Mike. Well, that's you. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, he sends me a film. Well, they're that's me, funny. yes. But anybody could take it. You know, I, I, I let picture people take pictures of me all the time. I never, you know. Um, hard to remember. Like you know, but hey, I, you know, I, 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 I didn't pay anybody to be my photographer. And I don't think my business manager would pay somebody for being my photographer if I didn't okay it. So, well, you know. uh, let's see. I, I can't get to it. I, it didn't didn't look like uh, you know uh, like anything but a snapshot. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's snaps. Anyway, where was I? You were uh, you were oh, complaining about the sleeping pill. Oh, what was I talking about? Yes, you I asked you. Did huh? your doctor change your medication oh, recently? No. Okay. Just thought I'd Maybe you should have. <laughs> Maybe you should have, yeah. <laughs> no. A cold can really knock you on your ass, too, though, if you're really wiped out. Uh, well, I, was, I, was, I really had a very bad cold. It was, it was, I, and I don't know how I got a cold. I never leave the house. But, you know, the girlfriend goes, oh, wait, though, you can just your get house. it because your resistance is lowered. And I said, no, you have to get it. From somebody else, and she well, said, "Marjorie could have brought him in." But she didn't get anything. Bob, shame on you! I'm maybe not trying to blame her. She's in she didn't. But maybe she was strong though. Resistance. She didn't get anything. She didn't get sick from me either because I yeah, kept away from her. Tolerance. What? Yeah, her resistance is resistant. Who knows? All I'm all I'm saying is uh, it's it's horrible, and I probably shouldn't have even come on tonight. To tell you the truth, you're doing fine. Drink orange juice. Huh? My mother would say drink orange juice, get some vitamins in your apple juice. No, I just feel there's something really wrong with my system, and I don't know what it is, you know. And it, 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 girlfriend said what the problem is, that as you get older, it's harder to get over this kind of stuff fast. Okay. I think that's true. You, you got to be careful. You really do think so, Jeff? I do. I do. Yeah. I, I've got some, something weird going on for myself, and uh, it's, a, it's a sleepy day. It's a, a sleep. You feel like sleeping a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, today, I, today I, when I got up, I said, I think I can really do a show tonight. I think I'm, I'm, I'm there. And then as the day went on, I got drowsier and drowsier and whatever. But I got a gift for everybody. Tomorrow will be a fill free Friday. Well, everybody's delighted about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're I, I the truth. I've been feeling tired myself, though. I think from work, though, and the weather. Yeah. Uh, uh, the lights, just waiting for one more part. Okay. What's with the lights? What are you doing? It's just a <laughs> fucking color. I needed, I needed lights that would separate me from the green screen. The screen. So I, I have lights for, <laughs> to, 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 <laughs> to listen. Listen to me, Phil. I yeah. sit here doing the show every night. I don't have any of that shit. I've got, a, a, I got a, I got a torch lamp and He's I've got some lighting. lights up on the wall here, and that's what you see. But that's not the point. Yes, it is the point. No, the point is it's it's a hobby. It's like anything else that no, I do. But, I but, get... but this is not Hobby Lobby here. This is not. 
this is not works your, for me. It, it wants. It can only be my hobby. Okay. Oh, you, know. you, you won't share your toys. No. All right. No. He was his lonely child, but just <laughs> just my ball, through. my glove. <laughs> but no, it's a it's a hobby. Uh, no, it's a, but no, so it's it's a hobby with you. But we don't want to have. See, what you'll do, you'll do is you'll come on with the green screen, and then you'll potchkey around with it, and then we're going to have to sit there while you're b moving things around and t changing the lights and getting the fringe taken care of and all that. And I don't want that shit. Not on my huh? show. I will hang up on you. All right. Where's he going to put a green? I will hang up on you rather than see you fiddle with a green screen. Where's he going to do with that? Though? No, I'm yeah, fiddling. I can, I can see the <laughs> fiddle with before I'd, ha I'd be hanging out. So. <laughs> and, and also, let me add that you don't really need lighting these days for green screens. Pretty much it will take a just a white background and, and it cuts you out. Well, you need good software for that. I got the forty nine no, you know, dollar green good. screen need... and software combo no, from West. No, 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 no. Is... <laughs> Skype, <laughs> Skype, uh, not Skype, but uh, uh, Logitech with the new cameras has a program that puts uh, puts a chroma key in there, and it really will just do it against any solid surface, no matter what the color. You can make that, you don't have to separate yourself. No, you don't have to separate mm -hmm. yourself. All right, well, it's uh, something to play with. And for years, you've been able to do it with FaceTime. Yeah. You know, but uh, what you have to have is a clear white wall, something that isn't, you know, and then it would put you there with fish and things like that, and, you know. Right. Yeah. But you don't need to go out, you know, this is just a fucking half-assed hey. internet program. He'll show up with all the wires hanging off him and making the fucking... <laughs> Yes, no, I, want, I want one of those studio looks like Alex had when he was uh, down in that uh, TV studio. Yeah, that's, a, that's a green screen thing. and uh, oh, that's a green screen. That was a huge wall that was green. Yeah. Well, it would be a smaller studio. No. No, it would be nothing like that studio. Not for me. <laughs> you know, nobody knew I was using a green screen. No, it looked great. Yeah. That now, uh, there's a like NBC, I think they sit at something that looks just like that. Is that a green screen? What do you mean? The, the, the desk looks exactly like the one. No, you they actually build sets. Oh, okay. Yeah, but my thing looked real, it looked like I was sitting at a real right. set. You know, yeah, I, good. I was sitting at a round table. That was it. Yeah, yeah. And what, did you have those two TVs? Uh, were they really TVs or was that no, part of the green no, screen? That was part of the blue screen. Wow, and that we, and we could but, and we could put in that those screens whatever we wanted to put. Yeah, yeah, that looked great. Yeah, so, yeah, that, you know. So go get your snotty little green screen and let me uh, hang up on you when I see it. Because <laughs> it'll yeah. be a feel-free night every night. Now I have a will to go on and do this thing beyond the <laughs> first. So you can hang up on me. <laughs> no, I mean, but, you know, I can, I could probably, you've, you've seen me on nights when I've actually used the newer version, and you've seen me bring on people, and I do it pretty seamlessly now. Yeah, and everybody knows the routine. And I can do it, but I don't want to. Mm. You know, I, I don't want to do it because they didn't make it simple for people. They made it harder for people. Well, and, it just and, lowers and, the competition. Slower. Uh, if it's well, harder for people. But, it, but this means that. People like Jack are probably going to get lost in the shuffle because he will never be able to get this this technically down. Yeah, it was hard I enough for me it. to get him to you know turn off the encoder the other night. Yeah, and to make him What's understand that process, going? but to get him to go with this, I mean, we've tried to you know in the past he's actually had. What happens is if you don't turn off something on Skype. It will automatically download the latest version of Skype. Mm. So he didn't do that, and he didn't know where to do that. So it upgraded him to the latest version. And then mm -hmm. he, oh, I can't get anybody on, and I can't, uh, you know. And I told him how to do it, okay? And he still couldn't get how to do it. So I'm, I'm afraid for that show, for instance, if this thing happens. I know that I'm sure the da Damien will be able to, to do it, because Damien gets tech, okay? Yeah. And um, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with, uh, uh, with uh, you know, franchise MC. Probably be able to do it. 
you know, he, I'm, he's a young enough kid. He can, you know, yeah, he'll figure it out. He can figure it out. But it's, you know, so but it, you have no faith that this latest version of Skype, that they didn't roll out some at least fixes <clears throat> to the original or to the shitty version of this? No, no, of course not. And then I get a note today from, from, from Amy, and she's telling me, well, I just downloaded the newest version of Skype, and I don't have any problems. I said, try, you know, try <clears throat> doing a citizen panel with it. Yeah, wait. Uh, wait. Uh, of just course wait. it works. It's, you know, but try to do a citizen panel with it. Could, well, let, and, and Amy's got some technical background, so let's see how she does tonight. Well, well uh, she, she's, uh, she's, she's, she's doesn't, she doesn't, create the citizen the panel part. he does oh, it. it jack does jack does they physically yeah. have to be she, in the she, same room you know, in order to make know, that happen no uh, she could never do it they'd be spending the first hour of the show saying i can't get so and so to go on are you there so and so i can't get like you us on. i was just gonna say that <laughs> what happens now is when somebody calls me like uh, phil uh, <laughs> i see that phil calls me he's the first guy and put him on okay that establishes the group okay then the chat group. Then what I do is the second caller, it has a thing that says add to group, a little oval, and you click on add to group, and it just adds you to the group. Now, that's pretty simple. In the new version, that doesn't exist. In the new version, what you have to do is if uh, the second caller calls, you don't pick up on them, you hang up on them instead. <laughs> And then you highlight their name, go over to the side, and it says add to group. You add them to group. It calls you back, and you're on. Now, all of this I can do in a matter of two seconds. Okay, bum, bum, bum. Uh, and I found that most of the time it works fine. The advantages are everybody's in widescreen. The advantages are that probably the first person won't be knocked off. Uh, the advantages are there. Are, there are a lot of advantages. Uh, advantage. Uh, another advantage is if you call using an iPhone, or or, or a, a mobile yeah. phone, or an iPad, we can see you. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, yeah. The, that's the, the, Those are the positives. Oh, use my iPad. But still, oh. this whole process of to, uh, hanging up on the person, right? Hanging up on the person and then going to um, uh, 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 then literally calling them back and having them pick up is a concept. It would take me about two months to get Jack to understand. So you got to actually hang up on the person who calls in. That's weird. Well, you just you just you don't actually pick them pick them up. You just oh. hit hit the red sign that says don't oh, don't God. answer, and then you simply go over and when they're highlighted. You, oh, I see. you click on that, yeah. and uh, it says add to group. Add to group, and you add to the group, and then it calls them back, and all ma all of a sudden they're with the group. You know, I'd be able to do it. See, the concept with the latest version of group chat is that I should know who each one of you are and invite you to the group, and then when you call, you're just simply added to the group, but you're already in it, kind of. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's ridiculous. It's re Hi, John Rockwell. How are you? Uh, let's see if I can get that video to yeah, come there up. There you go. It's world. Ah, there we are. Yay. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, Good. Just... Now I've been listening in a little bit on this, and it's like my guy. You know, it's uh, the whole sh the whole show is screw Skype. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I can see that. I can yeah. see why that'd be a well, problem. Another reason to screw Skype is you're whirling around with no picture here. But oh, am I on now, or any, somebody else is, doesn't is, have is a picture? I, I can oh, see. Oh, we are number nine. Rob is. Yeah, no, he's go. not number nine. I'm. Uh, is SG still there? Because I see his picture. Six, no, eight. SG is not still there. I see eight there. now. Oh, there okay, we go. So there we go. Yeah. His picture didn't go away, that's all. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, mm -hmm. so. I still see three people who are spinning around. Really? Even though I can see your picture, there's this. It's been that way for me for about a month or two. Yeah, so really? here. Yeah, and more problems with Skype. Oh, by the way, why don't we just call them and get an answer on how we solve that problem? <laughs> Skype? Yeah. No, I really, I challenge any of you to try and find, be able to actually communicate with a human being at Skype. It's impossible. 
Now, where do you think their headquarters are? Is it in uh, Washington or, uh, down, you know, uh, out west with Microsoft? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was Redwood City, but I could be wrong. What, what? Redwood City? And not, not there where their headquarters are in, uh, was it Seattle or? I'd say it's probably wherever Microsoft is now, you know. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, 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 I do pay Skype money. You know, I have paid them money over time. I pay them for the phone number that we we use. Mm -hmm. I I pay them anytime I uh, take a call from somebody who's on a mm -hmm. landline. It costs me money, uh, and it, and isn't you know is whatever. Anyway, I I am paying them some money. So, uh, and I'm not getting my money's worth because I want to be able to talk to somebody. What 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 is a company that doesn't have Tech support. How does Microsoft have a company that doesn't have tech support? Oh, they do. They but just they don't, don't have do consumer. Fun. They don't do consumer tech support, but they do uh, enterprise tech support. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of these companies like Google is pulling back. Uh, they used to offer a photography program called Nick Plugins, and at one point, I you know it was like five hundred bucks for these things. Then Google bought Nick. And uh, they lowered it to 150, and then they started giving it away for free for the last couple of years. Now they've just announced that they're no longer going to support it, and uh, and 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 the uh, and, and it's over. You know, it's they're killing the program off. Are so, they selling an alternative or uh, no? No, they're just they're just going to say screw it. Yeah, and Nick software is great. I love Nick software. Huh. Plugs to Adobe uh, uh, okay, Lightroom. All right, well, well, enough of that shit about but the 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 thing is. Here's another big company taking uh, something that's kind of loved throughout the photographic world and just, you know, killing it off. And so maybe uh, maybe they're doing the same thing with Skype. No, they're not killing Skype. They're trying, they've they been promoting Skype like crazy. Yeah, well, if they don't have any uh, tech support and they're not giving support. Well, to that's it. because they're a shitty company. I mean, you know, Microsoft, more than anybody, should know the value of tech support. When you say consumer, Rob, in looking around at complaints and stuff of Skype, one of them was from somebody who was using Skype for business, who got a hold of Microsoft and said, I need help with Skype for business, and they wouldn't talk to him. And I'm looking at the thing right now, and it says to call support.microsoft.com. For yeah, what? For what? Like for Microsoft. what? That's generic. It's a it's a link in the license that I'm looking at. In the license for what? For uh, Skype. I bet if you call that number, they will not help you with it. Anyway. Well, it's just it's just a link. It's not a number. I I know I've gotten help because I have um I have an Office 365 uh, account and I have email coming through their Exchange servers and I had a I had a add a domain to it and stuff and I called the number and I they called me back. So I've 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 dealt with their now, support. The three sixty five is when you buy their suite of programs for correct. a year. Right? Yeah, yeah, and you get but you also get an email account through their exchange server. Yeah, well I mean I have that as you know, because I, I use uh, the Microsoft products. Okay. I have that. Uh and uh I mean, portal.office.com and and uh, you can get help there for those things. They're not going to help you for free Skype through there, though. Yeah, well, you know, it's just and the thing is, you go to that community and people are complaining and nobody from 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 Microsoft or Skype ever answers. You know, or ever says, here's why things are like they are. Here's how you can work around it or whatever. There's nobody from Microsoft looking at those community boards. That's right. No, it's everybody else bitching at each other about the same damn problems. Yeah. And uh, I know that I was on one that dealt with this specific problem. And uh, there must have been 20 different posts that were going on round and round and I would add to them every now and then and tell people to work around and so on and and I would always at the very end say I implore Microsoft somebody please speak to us they Nothing. don't monitor them huh they don't monitor those uh, I, I don't believe they monitor but how those, do you uh, how do you online say go 
to this. And then if that doesn't work, hit next and you'll be given the choice of either going to the community bulletin board or talking to somebody with text. With, with text. Okay. Really? Talking? Yeah. They, they well, give well, you that not option? talking, not yeah. talking, but, you know, communicating by text with uh, uh, someone at, at, uh, at Skype. So you do that. And there's not that option. The only option is the community bulletin board. The other option doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I'm looking at the community bulletin board. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that are having the same problem. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no shit. I mean, yeah. any solutions? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, no, there's no solutions. There, uh, uh, people tell them to reinstall Skype. Nah. No. Yeah, that's always the yeah. No, that, 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 <laughs> but that when in doubt, boot it up again. <laughs> yeah. That won't do it. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, I I did this. Uh, you, you turn it on, and um, uh, you can get this thing to work. Uh, there, I mean, there. The thing is, I can set up a say. I want to do a new group, and then we'll set that up, and then I will make up a list of all the people I want in that group. I'll put in Phil Meyer's name, and Jeff's name, and Kevin's name, and John's name, and Rob's name, and Anthony's, uh, you know, Renee's, and then. Uh, when I finally want to go on, it will just let you all know, hey, you know, we'd like you to join our group, and you could just join it. Well, but that's not the way the citizen panel works, you know. Right, right. and and that's more like Google Hangouts, isn't it? I would say, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more like Google Hangouts. So Marcella is saying that Skype is headquartered in Luxembourg. You're right. You're absolutely <laughs> correct. And there, she put a link on there to support. Yeah, they're far the enough. They're happens. far enough, and somewhere where you can't grab them by exactly. the throat. It's, you know, three o'clock in the morning. Kevin right just said there's a link for support. It says there's a link for support there on the on the Facebook page. Mm. Huh. Uh, Skype.com help dot support dot selection. Can you send that to Alex? Well, it's on the. It's on He's his, up three in the morning, and is you know, and that's. Uh, you know, business hours in Luxembourg. Yeah. There you go. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Now yeah. they have to speak English. Yeah. Well, or French. Or German. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah. laughs> hey, wasn't there uh, uh, three more attacks uh, today in the UK? And uh, May uh, lost the election, and they uh, there's a, a very liberal uh, person that's taken over uh, as, uh, was it prime minister? Well, we'd never know because uh, every channel in America was watching Comey today. So. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I was no, say, 15, just, 16 just channels left. in New York that all had it on. Yeah, I was I, expecting Comedy Central to have it on at this point, but they didn't. It, it seems uh, as though the guy uh, is uh, so far to the left that he wants Sharia law in, uh, in, in, in the oh, in England. Yeah. Such a bad joke, I'm sure. No, no, it's not a bad joke. It's on the level. That's what I read. That's what you, where'd you read that? Fox. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's, there's the better. Of course. So Theresa what? May is out already? Yeah, Theresa May is out. They said that the uh, conservative wing uh, has lost and uh, the uh, ultra liberal had, has won. Ultra. Ultra. What does that mean, ultra liberal? The, the, uh, it's beyond the, <laughs> that means no the, shape uh, in your armpits, Tony. Oh, <laughs> did our. Um, oh, the other thing is ultra. Did our Cheeto in charge call her and congratulate her? Uh, oh, for, for losing? No, I don't think so. He's got his hands full. Sure. <laughs> I, would, yeah, I, I, so. I would say he does. How do you feel about the fact that now uh, Comey, who is very, I, I, you have to admit, if you watched him, very parsed his words very carefully. He was good. Uh, he said everything, He's, you know, he didn't just j jump in and, you know, make all kinds of claims and whatever, he would say, well, I don't know if I can say that. You know, I mean, he was very, he was very creditable, let's put it that yeah. way. And professional. But in the midst of all of that, he did call the president a liar. I like mm -hmm. that about it. <laughs> it's an angle. What do you think about saying. that? What would you take on that, Phil? Hey, uh, his word against uh, Trump. I and, love, I love uh, what he kept saying that it was it was a, a a couple of different factors, you know the the fact that he was the president, the person who it was, 
he kept he kept alluding to the fact that you know uh, that it was you know just you know the fact that the person I'm talking to, I better pay close attention to what he's what what he's going to say in these meetings. Just it just cracked me up the way he, he he was insinuating that he has no trust at all for Trump, that he's a liar. Well, so he, he he did what he did what the, the boss calls you in the office type thing, and it was uh, so so now you're getting you're getting these little hints of oh shit, and he decided he was going to go out and start writing stuff down. I've done that. Oh, you, you know? should. Yeah, he was he was know. much he was sounded so. It, so, it made him sound so corporate, like he was running a company and not a country. That whole situation where, you know, I'm going to call somebody in and we're going to talk to him and we're going to get him on, on our page and he's going to be on our team and that sort of thing. Let you me, want that. Let, but, me, he let, let me say room. to Marcella Lee, okay, who just wrote me on, the, on, on Facebook, uh, uh, here's a link for you. That's what I was talking about. Com. Yeah, I went to it. I've been there 80 times in the last <laughs> two days. Takes you, Marcella. It takes you nowhere. <laughs> Looks like you have, a, have to, like you have to have account at MS account. I do. I'm going to, through the steps, but it's asking for more information than I want to give. Yeah. Well, good luck, Marcella. Don't waste your time. I've been there. I've done that. You know. <laughs> You will not get blown after getting through all of that, you know. <laughs> a waste. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, I just think that Comey, who, I mean, if you were to say who's the most credible of the two people, Trump or Comey, I'd say Comey was, not because I want to believe him, but because Comey just comported himself in a very professional manner today. And I thought so. Yeah, and uh, he, you know, he called him a liar. He, this was a guy that he was um, bothered by having to do business with, you know, and, and concerned about having to do business with. So, and, and you know what he did say? I heard a part of it. Comey said that they were all in the room together, and then Trump tell, uh, told the other people to leave the room. Yeah. That's when he so he so he, that's when Comey knew he said something was up. That's when you pull out the pen and paper. It's like Phil. What do you think he was trying? Was he trying? That's what he was trying to push the bribe, wasn't it? Well, you know, so nobody the guy he, uh, didn't um, didn't uh, work work it the way uh, they do in government. He uh, he made a mistake, and I think that that showed his uh, naivete when it comes to uh, how to how to operate. You know, Ooh, and, right. Alex and nobody right. explain after the first time. Nobody tells him you shouldn't do stuff like that. <laughs> uh, no, well, Comey said he didn't tell him. No, 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 no. Right. He's got a no team of did. people. Yeah, yeah. But, well, hey. Uh, because because they probably, yeah. again, how about Jay, how about say Sessions? something to the boss. Where, the boss where was his, bi where was his big hot, fucking hot, hot shot? The emperor has no clothes. Where was his big <clears throat> fucking hot shot lawyer? Yeah. Where was was a, by the way, did you see that guy? That guy's really creepy. Yeah, he is. Renee, Renee put it last night uh, that he probably didn't pay the lawyer and he didn't show up. <laughs> that's, that's Trump's yeah. that's Trump's all that. But you know what I don't get, Alex, with this whole situation that I don't understand. If you're Trump, right? Yeah. And he feels like Comey did say he's not being investigated as of right now, right? What I don't get is then what is Trump so worried about if he's going to investigate the other guy? Is he afraid that it's going to lead to him? Uh, I, who knows? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't I, make any... Like, to, try and figure, to, to, to try and He's figure out... He's guy in the room. That's what it seems like. To try and figure out what's going through Trump's mind will give you a, a brief idea uh, of how knows. disoriented I felt the other day. Yeah, but <laughs> it's know. like, listen, you're not being investigated. We're investigating, say, Flynn. Okay, he should just say, do your job. Unless you have something to hide. See, Trump is the type of guy, I know everything. I'm the smartest guy, you're a liar, and I'm the best. I am the boss. He's a fucking liar. That's what he is. And when somebody comes back at him, Braggers. he gets mad and he fires you. That's the impression I get. No, and no, he can't no. fire Comey. No, he did. He, 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 he's used to living in a world in which when he's the boss and everybody's <laughs> there to tell him what he wants to hear. Exactly. Right. And you know, right. uh, don't, don't you know? Are you are you a team player? I think was exactly. a key a, team player. a, a yep. key 
kind of like, idea oh, of the fact that he yeah. felt he could run the government like you run a corporation. Hey, are you a team player? Exactly what, that was my point like, exactly. Yeah, there are no team just, players in government. You no. know? That's obvious. You see, Phil, doesn't that bother you? Back Wait. Oh, it bothers me that there are no team players in no, government. No, there are no like, team yeah, players team in government like because it, because that's not how government runs. Well, it, yeah, that's it's not, not, a, it's it's not a business. It's not a business where you're a team trying to sell something to the American <laughs> public. Yeah. But the government hasn't been running so well for a long time. Uh, our uh, Congress and uh, has a an approval rating that's uh, below. Uh, I, you know, I don't give a shit about approval asking. ratings or anything now, else. That, that's I mean, we've, we've, we've long ago established what the American public knows. OK, well, they know shit. Well, they, they're getting from their Congress what we get from television, you know, uh, the, the lowest common denominator. And uh, it, it's too bad because nothing's getting done. But that's although, not what I was although something just got passed today. I forgot yeah. what it was. Yeah. Oh, they tried to push Dodd Frank. Yeah, it, yeah, Dodd Frank. Yeah, it went in on Dodd Frank underneath. They gutted Dodd Frank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well there, there goes so, everybody's uh, 401k. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, so, the. So while he all these histrionics are going on, uh, legislation's getting passed. Yeah, yeah but it's bad legislation, it's Phil. In, in, in this particular case, in gutting Dodd Frank, what you're really doing is you're handing the keys to the candy store to the kids. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> you see, because of all this infighting, this stuff is getting passed. No, 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 yeah, no. It's, it's going on under the, the radar. Yes. This shit. Nope. Sorry. And because we were the ones who put the law in. We were the ones who made it important enough for that law to be there to stabilize the people in the economy within the United States. That's one of those things that that law did. Your guy came in and ripped it out. So what's going to happen is, is everybody's going to be grabbing at money and then all of a sudden interest rates are going to shoot up and there's going to be a lot more people. Well, going the interest rates stuff. need to go up, uh, you know, because this way uh, oh, it encourages savings. And, uh, you know, right. but uh, you see, I didn't make a judgment call on what happened with Dodd-Frank. All I said was, is that legislation, whether you approve of it or not, is getting passed uh, while all this other uh, stuff is going on, which really means nothing, and the outcome of it will be nothing. Okay, so the thing is, is getting bad legislation passed isn't anyone's goal except for except for Donald Trump's. Now, well, I'm not even willing to, to throw the Republican Party under the bus now. Because it's not a it's Donald not Trump piece of legislation. This is a Republican Party piece of legislation. It's something they've wanted to do way before. Right. So this has so, nothing to do with the the ability for Donald Trump to to govern. This is something that the Republicans were going to do. Donald Trump be damned. Right. Uh, yeah, Republicans were the ones who helped us put Dodd Frank together. It was the it was one of the pieces that was keeping us going from recession into depression. And you think that that's actually something that you should be saying? Oh well, we got this done. You might not like no, it. But all I said was. Done. That things are being passed under the radar, you know. Once again, once again, the problem with government is there's big money in government. You get the big money out of government, things will start to flow again. Right, because but because because the because of all the stuff, everybody's watching Comey. Everybody's watching this. They're watching That's that. Not and and That's no, not and, and, and and stuff got passed. Uh, yeah, but that would have gotten passed either way. You think so? Yeah, because that's the, it's the one thing that they're all – that's the one thing that they could do because whether you're on the Freedom Caucus or the rest of the Republican Party, they all agreed to, to, to let the rich get richer. So that was going to happen. It's going to be really painful for a lot of people. I mean yeah. so we have medical bankruptcies that are going to go up because of, of, of getting accomplished something under Trump. We're going to have uh, financial bankruptcies getting – going up because of getting something accomplished. The problem is, is 
our bar is here. Our values and our morals are here. Trump's values and morals are way below that. And to tell us that we should give him credit for getting something done, and it was one of the worst things that he could do, I didn't that's say, not credit. If, I didn't say to give him credit. I told you it was a non-judgmental thing. I, what I said was is that legislation is being passed while all this other stuff is going on, and it's overshadowing this legislation. For instance, you weren't aware that that happened today. If you were aware or you were aware that it was going to happen, you could have written your congressman. You and could have, I could have written my congressman. He wouldn't have done jack shit. We, we know it was going to happen. We, we knew it was going to happen. All of these regulations that were put in place to keep us from going into a depression were, were restrictions on people who have bad judgments. Maybe bad, they have proven to have bad judgment. Like and private industry. Yeah, and, and whether it's whether it's us as in little people, or whether it's huge corporations or business people like Jackass Trump himself, they have bad. They make bad choices. They're too debt heavy. It brings the rest of us down. And you are and and well, Trump I mean, Dodd Frank was a reaction. Way. Was a reaction to the two thousand eight financial crisis. Absolutely. Okay, and what we've done now by repealing it or rolling it back is we've rolled back a lot of the uh, the uh, safeguards that we have put put in place to make sure a 2008 downturn doesn't happen again. So basically, what we're doing is by doing that, we're put, we're, we're literally standing ourselves out there financially naked. Right. And why do you think that yeah. changed? Because he's got billionaires in his time. I'll tell you why. That's exactly he's so fucking obvious. This guy's so stupid. Why. Trump. I'm he's trying to stimulate, this. Tony, he's trying to stimulate the economy. Yeah, he's for the billionaires. You Come stimulate on, the economy by, 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 <laughs> by throwing like, it off, by, by take, throwing caution to the wind, right? Yeah. Well, he's, he's doing, doing things sleep. like the EPA. He's doing things uh, <laughs> that will yeah. allow business to, uh, to, to flourish. To literally once. rape America and exactly. put us back in another situation like we had in 2008 and you can kiss your, your money goodbye because it ain't going to be there. Uh, uh, and you a know, couple he, of people are going to walk away really rich and you're going to be really poor, Phil. Right. Yeah. It's, it's already happened. What's going to happen? <laughs> happen? You can't get people can't grab that thing. You pissed the fucking room, I'll tell you that. You know, I... A lot of people, and sure. and it, the issue is, is that I, I'm willing to separate this. I'm not. I, I'm saying that this is Tea Party shit, and uh, and and Trump is the Tea Party's bitch, and this is what we're getting because I'm. I know that there's some Republicans that worked on that Dodd Frank bill to get it passed so that more of their people wouldn't go under. You guys need a new party, and you need to grab your nuts and figure out what it's well, going like to be. That one. Oh, while we're at it, the Democrats should probably get a new party, too. Yeah. yeah, mind that one. But, Phil, aren't you a little worried that everything that Obama did, he's just trying to dismantle? It's obvious he's got a hard on for him. No, well, he, I don't like what Obama did. did. Everything? There's nothing good. Just about. Nothing between 2008 and 2016 went well at all. We didn't, we didn't come oh, away God, from the enough. edge of disaster. Nothing, nothing worked out. Uh, yeah. Well, if you throw seven hundred billion dollars at something, unemployment went yeah. way down. He killed it in that time. I mean, uh, none of those things were good. Personal oh. debt with a cross. Some coming people back was good, but what he did is uh, he increased uh, the amount of government employees uh, by such a great amount. I don't remember exactly what the percentages were, but uh, that's how he, 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 well, he, 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 he became a job creator. Yeah, who they creator, it, yeah, but he's not creating any any product. All he's doing is making more fat. How do you say that when you know that the, that the, the military <laughs> has gone so high? When you say he's create when Obama was creating government jobs, okay, mm -hmm. but now you have to go back and say, well, Trump is creating military jobs. Yeah, so yeah. And, jobs and that right. jobs That's in, in right. the economy equation, you can't knock that. But the problem well, is, is that we're going to need more than we've got, and you can't start a war every time you need a, a, a assistance in your economy. I do on Gab then. <laughs> He, he knows you're making a good point. You want a minute. 
Now, no, you know, I don't think he's going to look to start a war because I don't think Trump is a hawk. But on, uh, I believe that he wants a stronger, uh, uh, stronger military. And when you have a stronger military and you're making more boats, uh, ships, and you're making more airplanes and tanks, you don't need you're putting people to work. Just cares about the financial. And then we can sell. Them. We can sell them to the Saudis. That whole war thing is just to make those people happy. Trump wants to rip up. He wants his Wall Street people to be happy, Phil. And, and that you know, whole thing is wagging the dog with these strong men. He's making them happy who voted for him. No, Qatar is going to. Uh, how have you pronounced that? Uh, Cutter. They, I cut was gonna they're going to need to buy one hundred and ten billion dollars worth of shit, just like the Saudis. So, you know, it'll be uh, full employment, uh, you know, for... Oh, uh, full employment. Yeah. yeah. Every hat box is going to have a tank in it. Believe me, <laughs> that place is a mess, my work. It's not happening. I'm telling you, you're buying into the Trump Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. He's not... He's, line, where's the tax plan that he was getting to roll back for everybody? Remember that? He can't. Oh, your Trump taxes. Where? He, he can't. Well, he can't until, uh, the, yeah. the, what's it, the CBO... No, it's Anthony, you know, he has to rip up the Dodd-Frank thing, you know, to make his billionaires happy. Yeah, Christian's got to get investigated tomorrow, so I guess Daddy and him are in trouble. Trouble's brewing, right, Phil? Uh, yeah. Is Kirshner he's, on tomorrow? Tomorrow he's on the griddle, yeah. Him and the father okay. must have something. I might watch that one. That might be a good one, Phil. You might want to tune into that. Does he, I got to ask, does he talk? Well, that's, that's a good that's, Well, that's what we're going to find out. <laughs> we don't know either. <laughs> You know, that would be interesting. How many people on the panel watched Comey today, or some of them? I, I did for a bit. I watched him. Yeah. Okay. I saw it. So. Yeah, I figured. I figured that the text or the written version of it's going to be better to read because he's he's pretty fanatical about his uh, note taking. Is that correct? You know, Renee, it's it's pretty good, but you can't dance to it. Yeah, he was, I, I, I he think was lauded for his. The way that he, in fact, one of the... Well, he felt compelled to do it. Yeah, because... one of the senators made a comment about uh, law. He said, it takes me back to my law school days because I hated writing legalese, and you had to learn how to write it. And he goes, you're impeccable at it. He goes, well, my mom and my family, it was drilled into me. Yep. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, he felt a necessity because of the nature these meetings were taking and the fact that some of them were just between he and Trump to then go back and write down what went on at, right after the fact so that he had an, a, a contemporary re, uh, uh, um, uh, reading and, and, and had a record of it. Record uh, of, of what went on and it could not then be questioned about it. Well, now he went into a uh, closed session. And I'm wondering uh, now they can't talk about it tomorrow, but they can. The once armed with certain information, they may have a different take on the way they ask questions. Uh, you know. Well, this wasn't. They, did, they didn't want this to particularly be an open meeting. This meeting today. Comey. No, no, Comey. Comey asked for it to be a public. Right. You know, right. Yeah. he would do a private one, but they wanted to do the public one first. Yeah. So they went along with it. It's one of the few times this committee has ever allowed the public in to see a hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is, it only goes on very rare occasions. Uh, so uh, were there any commercials during these hearings? No. no. Oh, is this, so is that why all the uh, networks are pissed that they've lost millions? Well, they didn't uh, have to cover it. You know, I know, but each uh, of the each of them have news networks on right. cable. They could have just gone to those and said, "Meanwhile, here's Days of Our Lives." Yeah, you know, yeah, but nobody what was happened? watching Days of Our Lives. What happened to the distraction that they threw in front of us a couple of days ago, which is that uh, leaker the by the State Warriors? Winter. Oh, oh the, the the woman who leaked. What was yeah. her name? Uh, yeah. Reality She's winner. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought, in fact, uh, she leaked something, and she was a reality winner. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. She was, was a bachelorette, yeah. 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 But, you know, when I saw that name, I said, whoa, this, uh, this is quite the name. Yeah, well, who, who gives a kid a name like that? And, and that's actually the point. That's one of the reasons I thought it was nothing but smokescreen for, for what's actually coming. But since they slid Dodd-Frank in, it, it's... We're just going to go down that hill. I was mean, that the vote they were all going to go to later on in the day that they kept talking about? 
They kept saying, well, you know, we have to get the meeting at 1 over by 2.15 or 3, 2.30 because you guys have to go for a vote. Mm -hmm. That was probably it. (laughs) That probably was what they were going to go to the vote for. So all of those people, whether they're on our side or your side, Phil, that that actually voted to get rid of, to gut Dodd-Frank are are people that should not be reelected. I don't know what the uh, vote count was on that. It would be interesting to know how many Democrats, if any, uh, of, of voted sh- to repeal. There damn well better not be any Democrats on the uh, list. You find that. Are you looking, Alex? No, what? I'm uh, going. How many Democrats uh, uh, may have voted uh, uh, no. to repeal? I, I didn't look. Oh. Did he repeal it, or was it an executive order to repeal it? It wasn't an executive no. order. It was. Uh, it was. It's it was called a vote. the Financial Choice Act, a rollback of Dodd Frank. Yeah. And it is. Uh, uh, it was their uh, deliver on their promise to repeal Dodd Frank. Blah, blah blah blah. Near party line vote. Yeah. House yeah. approved the bill. Yeah. This is well, this is going to be harmful to people. Yeah. To Americans. But well, we'll just have to go back in and fix it. Yes, yeah, not willing to anymore. It was the uh, uh, brainchild of uh, House uh, C- uh, Serv- Financial Services Committee Chairman Jeb Hinars- H- Hensarling, a Republican of Texas. Yeah. Hey, they're all from uh, Texas, Republican aren't they? An ultra conservative. Yeah. Yeah, you, you knew that, you knew that this is a Tea Party thing because they really. I mean, after throwing twenty four million people under the bus, they really don't care what happens to anybody. Financially. Yeah, Republicans are tough. They don't drink tea. Yeah, okay, keep that yeah, up. Enough rep- enough Democrats voted for it. Really? Uh, yeah. If you look, oh, I, I think that's what I'm looking at. Dodd Frank Wall Street reform. Oh, this is the original 2010. That's why. Oh, yeah. okay, so the legislation. I got just- one here. Only only one Republican congressman voted against the bill. It was a North Carolina guy, Walter Jones. Really? So how did it says here. Only it, one. You know, it, it, voted you know what we don't bill. have any longer, and Phil falls into this category, by the way, are free thinking Republicans and free thinking Democrats. Those that occasionally right. would go to the other side of the aisle because. They just couldn't vote a certain way. They didn't. There wasn't a party line, and you weren't chastised if you didn't follow the party line. Today, you've got to follow the party line, or you don't get reelected. And and that's why this move is very ballsy for this Congressman Walter Jones, because first off, he's in the Carolinas, which they've just been dumping on humans for the past four years now but the fact that he went out of his way to say that this is going to be harmful to the people that voted for me good for him look at that and and we did have a lot of people crossing the line during the obama the last couple of years of obama administration but it was the women it was the Republican women and the Republican or the female Democrats getting together, trying to get leg- legislation pushed through. And it was for the most part of that. So I'm impressed with this guy. I'm also impressed with Rob Portman because he's he's he walks the talk as well. So that that's good that you've got some kind of value in your. But again, you know, he's a conservative. I don't he can't be a conservative Republican. Huh. Well, I mean, you, you know, all I'm saying is, you know, like, for instance, uh, McCain was a kind of right Republican that a right, right, left winger could, could like. Uh, and, and when he ran for president, all of a sudden he had to become this asshole. Well, uh, and it was his pairing of VP candidate that he well, just... Well, that was, that, that, that was his biggest mistake because he wasn't paying attention to that. He was letting somebody else make that decision. Yeah. They said, oh, if you put a woman on your... You know, blah, 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 blah. But they didn't realize if you put the right woman on they, your... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just went with their little heads. Yeah. So the vote, for the, the uh, Dodd-Frank was, uh, was uh, voted in or voted out by... A, 233 to 186. 233 to 186. Mm. That's well, you know, I would hate, you know, I would hate to think that the, this is a bad harbinger for the uh, for the future of America. Huh? In that I would hate to think that from here on in anybody who becomes president and tries to do something 
in his four or his eight years as president is going to have it all undone when the next guy gets in. Yeah. You yeah know? It's going to be back and forth like a tennis match. Yeah. And nobody will get anything done. And nobody will get anything done. Right. So, I mean, what, 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 you know, what is the value of that? You know, I mean, it, 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 and this is a perfect case of that. Here, a whole bunch of things Obama did. Dodd-Frank was a good one. It was a good one because it was needed at the time. It needed to safeguard against the kind of uh, things that went on in the 2008 fallout. And uh, he was protecting us. Could it have been over an overreach uh, that uh, is stifling uh, the business climate? I don't. Do you think the business climate is being stifled? Look at the stock market right now. Look at how businesses are prospering in this country. Don't give me that shit about it's hurting business. Apple, Apple is prospering. Uh, Google is prospering. Yeah. yeah. But the the average Joe uh, six pack. Is not, no, but it, they're never going to give a shit about you, Phil. That's why you should stop being a Republican. They're never going to give a shit about you. You're just not you're just a, a fucking about. human turd to them. You just said that it's okay that we okay. got a Dodd Frank, and now you want us to. Think I didn't say it was Dodd. okay. I what I said was Stay on that one side legislation the other. is being brought uh, around, and, and nobody is seeing it because of all this other crap that's going on in the in the media it's Thank it's overshadowing that. uh other bit, bits of legislation i told you i had no opinion one way or another and i wasn't being judgmental in any way on the dodd frank bill all i said was is this legislation was a big legislation it got passed today and and nobody nobody knew because they're all involved in this comey thing the comey thing is fascinating so listen to listen to this the bill introduced by jeb whatever offers the country's nearly 6,000 banks a choice. If they want to avoid the, the uh, many of the regulations, burdens imposed on the, by the Obama administration, they must significantly increase their emergency financial cushion. That way, even if they run into financial troubles, the bank should have, an, should have enough money to survive without taxpayers' help. That's what the supporters the of the choices. bill says. The choice is a toaster or a mixer. With your, with your savings account at 1%. I mean, but but, but the fact that they're just, uh, again, throwing caution to the wind here, the banks should have enough money to survive. Right. And they're they not going to police them on it. No, and, and, and they didn't the last time this happened, and that's how we got Dodd-Frank, is because we left this this mechanism up to the people in charge of the whole industry and they said well you know fox charge a hen house let's screw it pretty much they did and that's how we got dodd frank so to rip it away is just like saying well let's just learn our lesson all over again because right. yeah. we didn't learn yeah. it the first time yeah well it's just unbelievable the stupidity level and if i remember correctly dodd frank didn't have a lot to do with corporations and and just banking it's mostly it's, bank yeah right but for us i mean for people not for businesses okay let me bring up something however today when i was watching tv because i'm watching it again what an unfortunate decision on my part <laughs> um uh, I, I noticed, and it, I, I can't stick with any of these channels for too long because it's still that that desire to not have anything to do with them is important to me. But I found that no matter who you went to, it was kind of like Rashomon. You know what I'm talking about when I say Rashomon? Story about people who are at a, a trial uh, to try and figure out who killed somebody it's a Jap old japanese story Everybody and sees and so they bring back the ghosts of various people to tell their side of what went on and everybody had a different story and it's kind of rashomon when you're watching these channels to see who is going to take what position on what who heard what yeah you yeah, know, I was right. jumping they, around too, and it was it was exactly what you're saying. They, they, and so if you go to, if you go if you go to MSNBC, you're going to hear this uh, kind of left wing, uh, not left wing, uh, liberal palaver, and and their take on it. Oh yes, he looked great today. You know, you go over to CNN, they take a middle position. Oh, oh I think he did a very nice job. And you go over to Fox, and what a slob, what an asshole, Holy what shit. a terrible person. So <laughs> it's all Russia. Huh? At least they covered yeah, it. But I mean, it's Rashomon. 
And I, I go, geez, you know, th doesn't anybody just see what went on? You know, and, and when people ask me what I thought about it, because they, they thought I'd say, oh, it was wonderful what he did. And so I went, I found the whole thing pretty boring. And the reason I found it boring was because the people asking the questions weren't there to ask questions. They were there to make points. Yeah. You know, yeah. and instead of just letting this guy unveil his story and relate his story to them, they all had to, had a, 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 a had a cross to bear. So if it was a Republican, he was out to get him, and if it was a Democrat, he was out to make him look good. Yeah. And I mean, how are you going to get to the truth if that's going to be the only thing you're going to do? But isn't that what happens in a trial, right? You got. I, I was thinking about that too, because in a trial, right, you've got you've got the defense, and yeah. they're going to be pro the uh, defendant, and yeah. then you've got the prosecutors who are going to go after him. And in this case, it was sort of that same kind of thing. Uh, you know, you got two sides trying to na trying to eat away at at, at the, to find the truth. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, all I'm saying is I, I don't understand completely what you know what the story is, but it it was just something that I looked at and just said, this is you know this is nothing. This is a real problem to me. And on the pregame show on CNN, one of the pundits came out and actually said, "You watch how terrible." the Senate is when it comes to asking questions. There'll be terrible questions and we will not learn a lot today because the Senate just does not know how to question. Yeah. I was shocked to hear that. It was, well, I know, mean, but, but it was true. And I so I found it kind of boring. I mean, when it, when it started off and you had the head of the committee doing his five minutes or ten minutes or... Which is bullshit. Seemed like an hour. I've got a, I've got a hard on on this uh, Camilla Harris because I don't like her. And, you know, but she didn't do a good job today. She just basically re-asked the questions that other people asked. I don't think she prepared or or had any idea what she was going to ask. Obviously, you don't like Camilla Harris because I oh. thought she was, I thought she I thought she was okay. I didn't find, think she was great, but I thought she was okay. Renee, she was amplifying the questions that weren't answered the first goddamn time or the fifth damn time. So anytime a woman sits there and repeats shit that somebody else has asked, it's usually because you guys didn't answer it the first time. And it's amazing how all the politicians you don't like, Phil, are females. Yeah. No, that's not true. Oh, it is absolutely true. Every time you say, I don't like her, I don't like her, it's always a female politician. I am not a misogynist. I, I, uh, just, I don't like her because she's against the death penalty when it, uh, for cops. Well, I'm uh, against the death penalty for cops, too, because why are cops any better than I am? Well, uh, some and people... They, and plus, that. on top of that, I don't carry a gun. They do. Okay, so they're more protected than I am. Yeah. Well, you don't go outside. If you went outside, you'd probably want to carry one. <laughs> no, I would never carry again. Not, not in my lifetime. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Who? somebody was about ready to talk there. Renee, were you about ready to talk? Everybody's quiet as a clam now. <laughs> Maybe it's a Skype thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, was looking at the, I was looking at the BBC coverage with the sound off, and it looks like the idea is that the conservatives lost lost some some seats and the labor got about 30, almost 30 seats so they may not have a a, a, a really good uh, majority and the thought is that may is about a 50 50 chance of, of keeping your job that's the latest on that I, don't they don't they do something like they have to create a coalition in order to then win the the whole parliamentary <laughs> system i don't get completely but it, it it's not cut and dry that so many vote you're not voting for the person you're voting for the party right pretty Which much yeah i mean it's all it's conservative yeah they they have conserv the listings for national are all conservative labor socialist labor you know whatever scotland uh, party whatever the you know or not that but the social yeah the different green party stuff like that uh and um ones that haven't been doing didn't do that well last time i think may did this so that she would was going to try to get even a more solid majority, and it's going the other way, and that's right. she will call it's like oops. <laughs> no. But John, is this sort of a, a Brexit backfire? Uh, I don't know if they, they didn't. They, they don't seem to be saying that. And I looked online too. It's more. I don't know. Maybe it's also something. Maybe with the Manchester stuff and all that. Are you you know were they able to keep? I don't. You know, yeah, but, I didn't. I not having the sound on. It's really hard to tell because their crawls aren't very good on BBC on that. Yeah, but but John, if if it's a reaction to the Manchester, it's the more liberal 
uh, a guy that's uh, that seems that to might be have the problems. Yeah, yeah. I don't, as I said, I'm not sure. I'd have to look. You know, I mean, we'll, we'll get all that. I'm sure. One other one other thing that was missing in the news today, which I, I just noticed here, is that uh, gunmen went into Iran's parliament and the mausoleum of Ayatollah Khomeini and killed 13 people. ISIL is taking responsibility. So wasn't it happens just, everywhere. Wasn't that yesterday? Oh, it says well, I have this listed this morning. Nah. Well, it might have been this morning. Yeah, it was this morning. You know, I I, was, I, I, said, some, about I said something to girlfriend, and she said, don't say that, don't say that. And I said, well, I'm saying it. And I said, I hope to God there's a major terrorist event here in the United States. Because I want Trump to look like a piece of shit for all the things he's saying about how he's going to protect Trump us. Trump is going to turn around and say, yep. you didn't let me have yep. my ban, and you got your, what you reap, you sowed. Yep, exactly. That's I, what I, say. Say. I agree with that. I think he'll use yeah. that. Yeah. Well, right yeah, now he's claiming that he's keeping us safe while all these other countries are having problems, and he's not keeping us he's safe. Saying he's that he's just fucking lucky. Safe. What? You know, that the courts won't let him keep us safe because uh, they're pu putting down his travel ban. Uh, that, that's what he's going to say. Whether, no, they're, whether they're, the they're, not putting, ban, they're not trying to put down. Long, they're not yeah. putting down his travel ban. They're putting down his racist travel ban. He's, in other words, it's a it's a travel ban that is based upon religion, not based upon uh, uh, or even a nationality. I, I understand. I mean, you know, the Israelis are able to figure out who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. Uh, you know, one of the more repressive countries in the world, they, uh, Phil. Yeah, but uh, they have uh, a terrorism problem. And, oh, oh and I see. So in, in, in the pursuit of, of safety, you're going to throw out everything that you believe in in a democracy. That's uh, after uh, George Bush, uh, W., uh, he put in that act uh, that um, uh, it wasn't called Predator. It was uh, something like that. Uh, where they were able to listen in on conversations and, and reduce the amount of uh, civil rights uh, that, that we had in the name of, what was it? The Patriot Act. Patriot Act, in, you know, in the name of uh, security. And it was supposed to be a temporary thing. But Obama kept it on the, the whole time. And, uh, and they felt that this reduction in, in civil rights was necessary uh, for the protection of the country. And uh, but what Trump is going to say, and just like uh, Rob agreed with, hey, whether you agree with the ban or not, whether you think it's, uh, uh, you know, based on religion or not, he's going to be able to say if there's an attack, an attack will strengthen Trump's position because he'll be able to say, look, you struck down uh, my ban and now you're, you're feeling the effects. Uh, and already and living here like doing is it'll make him stronger. Which is one of the reasons why I had this whole thought in my head that he would try to. Now again, this is conspiracy theory crap, but he would try to set off something. Well, it, it, what you're Go saying ahead. is it gives him the motivation to sit back and not do anything and let yeah. something happen, yeah, so he can then say, way. "See, I told you so." He doesn't need right. the motivation. He's he's covered his he's covered his uh, his 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 butt one way or another. If there's no attack. Then he can claim, "Hey, my stance is taken." Phil, uh, do you have to have an opinion on? Do you have to have an opinion on everything? You talk right. more on this show than anybody else. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I mean, that's because you I'm know, the Jeff talks party. less than anybody on this show. <laughs> and guess who I like better? Yeah. Me, of course. No, no. Yeah, of course, John. <laughs> Jeff, what do you think of all of this? Quickly, you've been very quiet tonight. Oh, your mic isn't even on. Because your mic's off. That's why. Uh, yeah. He's been that, talking that all keeps night. keeps me very right. All right, I'm on now. I was, I watched all of the stuff on TV today. Yeah. And I think I fell asleep about three times. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, he kind of made the big claim that, that Trump was a fake and a liar and this and that. We all knew that, I would hope. Yeah. I knew that. Tell us something we don't know. That's right. Yeah, hey, listen. I, I, new. The music is playing, and I got to I gotta oh, bring yeah. this thing to an end. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, because then I can go lie down somewhere. 
get better. Well, even good night, everybody. Stuff. You're gonna dream of Friday. <laughs> Friday. Feel free Friday. So enjoy oh, your I'm gonna dream of like, oh, like we care. <laughs> uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Kevin, thank you. John, thank you. Renee, I don't know what happened to Renee. I think she hung up to get ready to call the next show. Uh, Rob, uh, I hope you'll all do the same thing. Th thanks for being here. Uh, Tony, thank you. Uh, well, hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow night, all of you. Same t okay. Wave Good goodbye. Night. Get better. Good yeah, night. okay, I'll try. All right. That's it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, all she wrote for tonight. Let me just uh, turn a few things off here. Uh, this is why it's always hard doing a show and, and, and also being the tech guy as well. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, that's all she wrote. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. The Intersection is next, followed by Connections. And as always, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye.